Joining me now from the OpenStack Summit in Berlin is Vanessa Little, who is Director of NFE Ecosystem Architecture at VMware. Vanessa, thanks for joining us again on Telecom TV. In your presentation at the summit, you discussed the key challenges in OpenStack when deploying MEC and how CSPs can address them. But, you know, firstly, there's so much talk about edge here in, in Berlin. What, what exactly is MEC? So there are two widely used industry um, definitions of MEC. The first is mobile edge computing, and this is what emerged first. Um, and it speaks specifically about edge computing for telcos and telephony, uh, particularly around cellular networks. Uh, but now the more broader and the more widely accepted term is multi-access edge computing. And this means pretty much any workload that you would want to push to the edge of your network to get it closer to the user that's consuming it. So how, how are these MEC architectures unique? So the MEC architectures are unique in the sense that um, they move away from the traditional single data center deployments where you had all of your control plane, all of your user plane, and all of your workloads contained within the same physical area. So multi-access edge computing uh, architectures spread all of that out where you end up with a centralized control plane still in the central data center, but micro data centers or edge data centers that are more widely distributed, sometimes across a whole country or a whole continent. Um, and it really flips the, the concept of what a data center really is. These edge data centers could be something like a cell phone or a connected car or an IoT gateway or an engine that's giving telemetry to an IoT device. So it really changes the whole concept of what a data center really is. So as you said, there's a vast number of permutations and possibilities uh, there. Are CSPs actually deploying um, these architectures now? So what we're seeing right now is CSPs are exploring mech architectures because it's, it's widely accepted that mech is the, the strategy for deploying 5G workloads, and 5G is the, the latest industry buzzword, right? Um, so when you look at the sheer amount of data that is going to have to come into a carrier's network, being able to backhaul all of that traffic becomes untenable. And so if you use a traditional architecture where everything comes back to one centralizer or a few centralized data centers, with 5G workloads where you have higher bandwidth, more devices that are talking, more sessions, more data, you now have to start pushing these workloads uh, to the edge of your network so these conversations don't cross the entire network. They only cross that small segment between the user and the edge. So MEC is looking to address those issues, but in rolling this out, do CSPs face new challenges? There are a ton of challenges around rolling out uh, mech architectures. The biggest ones being that the technology that supports them isn't fully baked yet. It's not really done yet. Um, and what we're seeing are a lot of, a lot of mishmashes and, and hybrid snowflake type designs where you somewhat achieve the end goal but it's very inelegant and it's very difficult to reproduce and it's, it's very unique from one deployment to another. So is OpenStack the right solution for MEC? In my opinion, and this is only my opinion, I would say no. There are a number of technical challenges that I get into in my lecture that we don't really have to discuss now, but um, the fundamental way OpenStack has been built and designed and architected makes it a very poor choice for mech architectures. When you start distributing those workloads and, and breaking apart your infrastructure, OpenStack has some, some key design flaws that make it fall down for those kind of architectures. And so, um, even, even bolting on third party solutions and, and adding extra software doesn't really get us where we need to go right now. So that's a huge barrier to adoption right now for the CSPs. So you're saying that you, you can't simply add in missing, missing features. So is, is, is a new solution um, necessary and required? That seems to be where the industry is going. Um, there's open source projects like Project Arcrano popping up. Um, Etsy spun up a brand new initiative for, specifically to define standards around mech. Um, and what needs to happen at the edge and what that infrastructure needs to look like, what those interfaces need to look like. Um, the industry is looking for a net new architecture, a net new design, new open source projects to really address the need for Mac. Can CSPs maybe um, adopt a stopgap solution in, in, the, in the interim? Um, is, is there something in the automation or, 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 or mano that they could use? Yeah, right now that really seems to be where things are going. Um, because the Mano solutions compensate for the fact that 
one OpenStack instance can't really achieve what you need to do, but a bunch of them can. And if you use your mana layer to aggregate that bunch of OpenStack instances, you can kind of get away with what you need to do today. But as these architectures get more complex, as 5G rolls out, that's, that isn't going to be good enough either. But it's, it's a good stepping stone to get us where we need to go. Excellent, great advice. Vanessa, as always, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Thanks for having me.